doing it unplugged is is something new. I mean, when we when we created the songs, we actually started um, on the computer. Um, Greg pulled up his system and had the beats and everything programmed in there. So, it, it, doing it unplugged is this is the first time for that. It actually allows you to kind of play with the melody and the rhythm even more because you feel it more. Um, it's 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 live. It's there's actual human touch going on. There's something really beautiful about that. I think the biggest challenge as far as arrangement goes for, for today's uh, performance is um, Broken Open, for sure. On the album, it's very, very uh, electronic. It has you know a lot of ambient sounds, a lot of synthesizers and, and beats and blips and textures and creating a, an, a, an acoustic arrangement. Um, we had to get really creative with it because um, you can't quite replicate what's going on in that track. But I, I'm really happy. I think we found something that's kind of simple and lets the melody like stand on its own. Obviously there are a lot of elements in the production, you know, lots of synthesizers and layers and things like that um, that make the track sound the way they are. Um, but we picked songs today to perform that had strong melodies and strong lyrics that would stand on their own. Um, and I'm lucky enough to have an incredible band who can both play electric and unplugged, and they're, they're amazing. I auditioned them, um, except for Monty on guitar. He uh, and I had a band years ago in LA, and we've written a ton of songs together and we're old friends. So uh, I brought him in and then auditioned these other guys, and they're awesome. Monty plays with Madonna. Actually, he uh, he met her teaching her guitar, and then he he quickly became her guitar player for all of her concerts over the past nine years. Good uh, good resume, yeah. <laughs>If I could be in any other band, Muse's music is pretty incredible. And actually, Matt Bellamy wrote uh, Soaked, which is on my album, which was a big honor to receive that song. Um, I love their music. I love the way he sings. Um, it's kind of a throwback style in many ways. And I think that they're poised to be kind of a legendary group. They're one of the few bands right now that I think like will stand the test of time and kind of have made their mark. What Do You Want For Me was recorded here in New York, actually, uh, in one day. I was on the, the Idols live tour over the summer, and I had, one, I had like one day off, and I flew in the night before, stayed in a hotel, woke up, recorded all day, and went right back into tour. It was uh, uh, produced by Max Martin, who's a genius, and he also co-wrote the song with Pink, mm -hmm. and uh, it's my current single. And I think the song is really fantastic. Lyrically, it, it, it's so universal. Um, it's something I think everybody can relate to as far as being in a relationship and kind of being in that, that, that moment where you're, you're, you know you're in love with the person and you know you want them in your life, but you're confused and you're not quite sure how to navigate it. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of overwhelming and you're not really, you don't really know why that person wants you, um, but you know that you want them. Um, and then there's also some kind of double meanings to it. I mean, it can also be interpreted as me almost asking society and the media, um, look, I'm doing the best I can. This has been an amazing adventure, but it's scary sometimes. And I want to be here, and I don't want you to give up on me, but sometimes I just need a second. Down the Rabbit Hole and Broken Open are two songs that I co-wrote on uh, with Greg Wells and Evan Bogart. Uh, the writing sessions were awesome. We sat around. G Greg would tend to kind of come up with a basic idea and chord progression and rhythm, and then Evan and I would just start to riff on, on, on melody and on lyric. Rabbit Hole is just completely esoteric, out of control. Um, it was my uh, one track on the album that was very like Burning Man, psychedelic. Um, bizarre imagery and Evan and I at some points in the song lyrically were just like well what can we say that is so weird just to just to be weird um, so there's definitely lines in the song that, that have like, like no no context I mean it's totally um, it's totally esoteric and like, out to lunch with broken open the lyrics are very personal um, you know they they reflect some of my like intimate experiences and, and what it's like to be with somebody who um, just lets their guard down and lets it all kind of come crumbling down and, and the pieces break open. And it, it's that moment where you say it's okay the way you are. I understand. I will hold them together for you. You just let it, let it go. And you're beautiful with, with your faults, you know.
Mad World by Tears for Fears is a great song. I chose it for uh, American Idol because the theme that week was songs from the year you were born. 1982, the year I was born, and I looked through the list of cleared songs and I, I immediately, my eye went to that song and I went, oh God, I love that song. I, I remember I was first introduced to it from Donnie Darko, um, the Gary Jules version, which is that haunting, beautiful piano rendition, which I, I replicated on the show. And uh, in fact, my brother and I, um, used to sit around the piano and he would play it and I would sing it. So it was something that I had already kind of experimented with and I thought, ooh, that's a cool choice. And I knew that vocally it wasn't necessarily one of those songs that really like let you show off, but I figured, you know what, it's so beautiful and so haunting. The lyrics are so fantastic. I think that it just might be the right thing. And it worked out really well. It became, I think, a crowd favorite and Simon Cowell gave me a standing ovation, which was unbelievable. I was honored. and. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy that, that I went with that because I also think it allowed the audience to hear a different, like a different color in my voice, mm -hmm. um, one that today will be on display, kind of a softer, more intimate feel. I, right afterwards, I heard from both of them. I heard Gary Jules loved it and was honored, and um, I also heard that Tears for Fears was really into what I did, so they were probably happy they got those royalties. <laughs> <laughs>